Hi, I'm Katie Fenska. I am a senior adoption consultant with Christian Adoption Consultants. And I just wanna take a couple of minutes to encourage you to fix your mind on the Lord in your weight. Waiting is hard. No one's going to deny that. Um, but God is at work in the wait. And I love in Philippians 4, 8, where it says, finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. I love that God's word just so clearly helps us, right? So what are we supposed to think about? We're supposed to think about those things. Well, what are they? So clearly we know that something true and honorable and just and pure is the Lord. So what are some things you can think about him in your weight? Um, Isaiah 26, three, it says, you keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. Colossians 3, one through four says, if then you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above not on things that are on the earth, for you have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, you will also appear with him in glory. Those are just a couple of verses that remind us that our mind is important and that God uses our thoughts to help us uh, draw near to him, to look to him. So one really easy thing that doesn't take a ton of time that you can do is hop online, uh, find a Bible translation that you love. So for example, a few minutes ago, I just hopped on esv.org and I typed in trust in the Lord. Um, 16 results popped up and I just started reading through it. So here's just a few. Psalm 37, three, trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and befriend faithfulness. Psalm 40, verse three, he put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. Psalm 115, nine, O Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. And it goes on and on. So I would just encourage you in your weight, think about a few um, truths that you could study a little bit more that you could meditate on and see what God does with that as you dig deeper into his word, as you fix your mind on him. He loves to give us peace as we do that. So again, just an example, pop in a few, a few words into a Bible search engine, trust in the Lord, wait, uh, hope in God, he is faithful, you know, faithfulness, steadfast love, some key words. See what pops up and just read through them. Journal, write them down, try to memorize some of them. As we call to mind God's word, as we fix our mind on him, he uses that in the way to produce really good and beautiful things in our heart. And ultimately, what we want more than anything else is to love him and honor him. So this is a great way to do that in your adoption process.